Good morning to everyone. Myself Pooja K, second semester student teacher, Kumudvati College of Education, Shikaripura. In this session, we will discuss about the scientific attitude on the subject pedagogy in school subject physics. Scientific attitude. In this session, we will discuss about introduction to the scientific attitude, meaning and definition of scientific attitude, techniques for developing a scientific attitude in students, role of teacher to develop a scientific attitude in students, importance of scientific attitude for students and lastly we will conclude this session. Introduction The major aim of science education is to develop scientific attitude among the learners in proper way. In such condition, no teacher or a person can perform the function of imparting science to the students without understanding the proper meaning and true nature of scientific attitudes. Some experts are of the view that problem solving in all its elements it is closely linked with the group of attitudes or a mind setups which are important outcomes of science teaching and then meaning of scientific attitude attitude towards the science scientists and learning science have always been a concern for our science educators Attitude is a very broadly used in discussing issues in science education and is often used in various contexts to broad categories of distinguishable. The first one is attitude towards science. Attitude towards science can be defined as a feelings, beliefs and values held about an object that may be an in in developer of science school science the impact of science and technology on society are a scientist the second one is scientific attitude that is open minded honesty or skepticism scientific attitude is the desire to know and understand questioning to all statements search for data and their meaning, search for verification and consideration of consequences. And then we will know about the definition for scientific attitude. According to NSSE, scientific attitude as a open-mindedness, a desire for seeking accurate knowledge, confidence in the procedure of seeking knowledge and the expectations that solution to the problem will come through the use of verified knowledge and then the characteristics of a scientific attitude a person with a scientific attitude will have some characteristics uh, the person which is which are having uh, scientific attitude that persons uh, exhibits uh, these characteristics then we will discuss about uh, these characteristics first one is open mindedness open mindedness the person who is having scientific attitude he is always a uh, open mindedness and he and he is a uh, objectivity uh, and he is uh, freedom from the beliefs in superstitions. He d he do not um, believe in uh, any. Um, he do not believe the beliefs in superstitions. And fourth one is up to up to date to date. Sorry, up to datedness. And um, he is always uh, ready for uh, present work and he is finishing the works time to timely and fifth one is suspended judgment and sixth one is critical in observation and thought he is always the person who is having the scientific attitude he is always think critically and he observe uh, and he and he observe critically and uh, thought 
and seventh one is methodical way of solving a problem on hand the person who is having a scientific attitude he is always have he is always solve the problem in their own way and eighth one is belief in cause effect relationships and ninth one is respect for others opinion the person who is having the scientific attitude he is all he give the respect for others opinion also and tenth one is accuracy and truthfulness in reporting observations these are all the characteristics of a person who is having the scientific attitude and then the techniques for developing a scientific attitude there are three techniques for developing the scientific attitude in a student the first one is the increase in the degree of consistency of the environment helps in developing and inculcating scientific attitude in the pupil the scientific attitude can be inculcated in a pupil by providing him more opportunities for making satisfying adjustments to attitude situations and third one is the scientific attitude can be developed in the pupil by providing him opportunity for the analysis problem or situation so that a pupil may understand and then rest intellectually in desirable attitudes these are all the techniques for developing the scientific attitude in a child role of teacher the the major role can be played by the science teacher in developing scientific attitudes among his students and this he can do by manipulating various situations that infuse among the pupils certain among the pupils certain characteristics of scientific attitudes making use of planned exercise the large number of exercise for development of certain scientific attitudes are reported by various journals and magazines teacher can frequently use such exercise for developing certain scientific attitudes among the pupil so this is one of the major uh, role of the uh, teacher who develop the scientific attitude in a child and then second one is wide reading on the basis of the study conducted by him curtis reported that those pupil who engage themselves in wide reading in science developing scientific attitude more than those who study only one textbook thus a teacher should encourage his students to read library books and supplementary books on science so the teacher can uh, explain the benefits of library books and how to use that the proper use of practical periods 